I'd like to invite Samana Group, led by Marek, CEO, visionary, uh, that is transforming one of the prettiest corners of the Dominican Republics. Okay, the Caribbeans is a destination for North Americans, I'm sure for many Europeans as well. Once that uh, November, December, gray months come in and it gets a little bit cold and you just can't stand it, you got to go south. Um, unbelievable value. Um, Marek is going to tell us a little bit about the Samana project. They have an urban development that stand to eventually deliver over 1,000 units. And uh, a, a tiny little town, right? And uh, without further ado, uh, Merrick, please come on. I'm Polish, which means if everyone asks me if I'm Russian, I answer what every Polish person says, which is not yet. Um, <laughs> I want to tell you a little bit about our project. I know I'm speaking to the best salespeople in the world. I'll try not to sell to you. That would be embarrassing. Um, the most, sorry, can you go back to one slide? I clicked too fast. The QR code. I think the most important slide is that we want to invite you all to Samana, to the Dominican Republic. I want to say it's an all expense retreat, but it's not. You have to buy your own flight. But once you're here, we're going to host you in our hotel and our boat. And we want to show you what we're doing. So please uh, make a. <laughs> Make a photo and uh, just leave your email address so we can connect with you. The plane is leaving at 4 p.m. Yes, we can, we're going to land in Samana faster than if you want to go to Hamptons in a rush hour. <laughs> because it takes uh, half an hour or an hour to get to the airport and the flight is three hours, more or less. Um, not sure if you know what all these cities have in common. Irvine Ranch in Orange County in California, Monte Carlo in Monaco, Neom in Saudi Arabia, Punta Cana in Dominican Republic, and Future Nomad City in the Dominican Republic. They all have one thing in common, they are all private, which means a few decades ago there was a developer that bought a big chunk of land and decided to build a town from scratch, which means they didn't have to just design the buildings, but also the roads, the sewage structure, get all the approvals and essentially become the private mayor. So that's what we're doing. We're in the business of building towns from scratch. Obviously we're not building Irvine. Irvine has 300,000 residents, uh, one of the biggest projects in the United States, if I'm correct. We're building a town for a few thousand people. Um, this is a company between, that has its own funding fathers, and I guess you want to know who's behind this. Um, we are a cool team of four totally different personas. I'm the youngest one, by the way, and I'm considered a startup kid. I spent most of my professional career in sub-Saharan Africa. I've built an e-commerce business there. We went public on New York Stock Exchange a few years ago. Um, Shannon, my partner, he's been the managing director of JLL. I guess you all know JLL here. He's been the managing director for more than 20 years for the whole Latin America. Thomas is the tree hugger. He, he launched a couple of ecologists in Samana in the Dominican Republic. And if you go on TripAdvisor and you want to search for the best ecologists in Samana, you're going to find his hotels. And Peter, another Polish guy, he's a typical real estate developer. Uh, in his career, he has built almost 10,000 residential units in Poland. And now we're doing this in the Dominican Republic. So that's about us. Uh, our story started in Samana in the year 2007. That's where we started buying first land. We started as a land surveying company. We were not buying the land with cash. There was a law change in Dominican Republic. Every farmer had the right to get the ownership of the, his land formalized, but they didn't have the money for the lawyers and for the land surveyors. So we opened a land surveying company and very soon we became the biggest land surveying company in the whole Samana Peninsula. We've surveyed almost 2,000 plots of land and we got 20% out of it because they didn't pay us in cash, they paid us with land. And that's how we became owners of uh, almost 10,000 acres of land. Then Thomas, uh, then Thomas opened a couple of hotels. These are the brands, unique exotic hotel, Hacienda Cocuyo, Ganesh. Uh, I don't want to do a flex here. They're pretty well known when it comes to Samana for people who want to pay more to live in the nature. I mean, it's the average price per room is like $300, $400 per night. I'm going to the next slide. And obviously the next stage started. Uh, we decided to develop a residential community in the Dominican Republic. How many Dominicans are here? 
Uh, not, not so many. So I don't want to speak too much why Dominican Republic is the hottest market right now in the Caribbean, but I'm, I'm just going to throw a couple of numbers for you. This is a slide that looks super smart because it's so hard to read, so I can say anything. But this is basically the analysis of the last 70 years of every Latin American country. And the analysis is done by the International Monetary Fund. It shows how quickly an average citizen of a country gets richer and how quickly the distance to the to United States, which is the model country, is shrinking. And by far, the Dominican Republic is the poster kit of the modern times when it comes to Latin America. There's Dominican Republic when it comes to growth, and there's nothing else. United States have done many nasty things in the, in the 20th century when it comes to meddling with um, international diplomacy and so on. But there's one country when they did very well, I'm talking about CIA and, uh, and the United States government, and it's the Dominican Republic, because they removed the dictator in the late 60s. And after that, Dominican Republic had no shots. There was a classical neoliberalism economy, which made the country way, way richer. Very few examples of history like that in the world. Uh, Poland is one of the examples in Central Eastern Europe. Dominican Republic is very similar. When I look at Dominican Republic, I moved there seven years ago. I was a single guy, then I met a Dominican lady and my life ended. You probably are <laughs> aware of that story. Uh, I, I saw many similarities between the amazing growth of Poland, there's a reason why you open an office there, and what's happening now in the Dominican Republic. Uh, this is a GDP per capita that proves that the DR is on the top when it comes to how fast an average Dominican is, is, is getting wealthy. Um, this just shows you the room supply, a constant growth of uh, room supplies available in the Dominican Republic for the tourists. This, this last year, Dominican Republic broke the record, 10 million tourists, second biggest destination in the Caribbean and, and Central America just after Mexico. 10 million tourists, 11 million residents, like you have almost as many tourists as the residents. Uh, this is inbound travelers. Obviously, there was a drop during COVID, but the Dominican Republic was the first country in the world that recovered and broke the record after the COVID. Uh, so this is why the Dominican Republic. And inside Dominican Republic, uh, okay, one last slide about the Dominican Republic. Uh, you, you can't see on the TV the, the rings, but you can get to Miami in two hours, you can get to Charlotte below three hours, and you can get to New York in around three hours. There's seven international airports in the Dominican Republic for commercial flights, 25 airports where you can land a private jet. Fun fact, because we analyze private jet traffic, because when I see private jets increasing in my destination, that means the wealthy clients are coming. In the last three years, guess how many flights landed from North Korea? He's, uh, give me a guess. Who wins gets a cigar from, from me? No one wants to try? Zero? 27. 27 times a private jet from North Korea landed in the Dominican Republic in the last three years. Which gives me hope, because even if China wins the global domination, they still need our houses to live in, right? So this is safe. Dominican is very well connected. There are five flights every day from New York to, do, to, uh, to the air. Um, Samana is the region where we are. You know, if you build a town in a Caribbean exotic destination, the biggest problem is the chaos, because you want to bring you know, proper infrastructure and high quality of lifestyle into a region which has its own you know, problems. So if you want to control the chaos, you need to control the land. But then you have to have the master plan, not for your plot, you have to have the master plan for the whole peninsula. And this is what Samana Peninsula has. There's a master plan which was signed by the, the, the Dominican Republic president that tells you exactly how many hotels we can build, how many residential areas we can build. We have four national parks around us. The density will be super low. This is the only region in the whole Dominican Republic, the only region in the whole Caribbean, I might even risk that statement, that has a master plan approved by the government that people are sticking to. Uh, I'm going to the next slide. So um, this is the Samana Peninsula. In total, it's uh, 100,000 acres, so we own around 10% of it. The red spots is our land. The green spots is, uh, is the national parks which are, uh, which are um, around us. We have one international airport just in our peninsula and three airports for, for, private, uh, for private jets. 
Samana is known for the fact that it's like a, oh, this is super, super uh, complicated for you to read. Samana is considered like a small continent because we have everything. We have the beaches, we have the jungle, we have the mountains, we have the whales, we have the nature. So it's like a tiny continent on a, on a, on a, on a, in a size of uh, 100,000 acres. So you don't really get that in too many places in the world. Uh, Hi, I'm Jurit, and I want to welcome you to... This is an example of a house that we, we are building. We can, we can play the video, yeah? Hi, I'm Jurit, and I want to welcome you to your new home in Rincón, Samana. That's my wife, by the way. I know I support. As soon as you come in, you're greeted by Rincón Beach, as well as the Atlantic Ocean, and for me, the most exciting is the National Park Cabo Cabron. I mean, literally, you have a house in front of a national park. You can take in this amazing view from your terrace, or perhaps if you're feeling lazy, you can just do it from your bed. For a moment, let's take in the view of this amazing, beautiful bathroom. I love the combination of the wood, the local limestone, but the best part, this is the shower. Imagine taking a bath with this view. Thank you so much. I guess we can stop here just to save time. So this is an example of what we're building. Our product is really a hill product. It's around a thousand meters, more than a thousand yards from the ocean. You have your own private access to the ocean, but you're buying the view and you're buying the air because we are building not lower than 200 meters above the sea level. Then you have a different air, you don't have the mosquitoes and so on. We're selling this to people who are not so crazy about beach houses anymore. I don't know about you, but if someone tells me he wants to live in a beach house, I tell him just rent it for a month and then come back to me. Let's see if you change. So, so you pay for the view, you pay for the air, and you pay for lack of neighbors. We, we only build 30% density, and we don't build above the trees, as you see, maximum two levels. So this is, this is what makes us different than other areas. That's why many private equity people tell me I'm stupid, because I could make so much more money if I, if I build taller, but that's not the whole point here. Sorry? That's a great question. I'll get to that in a second so I can keep you hooked. <laughs> uh, we can go to the next slide. This is just a, a, a master plan of, a, of the first stage of the town that we're building. Everything is on the website. I just don't want to throw those videos at you for too much, so maybe just go to the next, next slide because this is the pricing. We've done, we've done two um, products which I believe I haven't found any other developer that does that in the world right now. The first product is related to developer financing. So I'm going to use an example of our best seller, which is a two bedroom, a thousand square feet uh, villa with a view of the ocean. It's a $250,000 uh, product. So it's around $300 per square feet, if I'm talking about the construction costs, um, together with the plot. So you have a $250,000 villa, uh, which allows you to move in only after you pay $100,000. And then the, the, the rest, the $150,000, after you move in, you have five years to pay it off with uh, monthly pays, monthly rents. This is $2,500 per month. It's a 0% interest rate. So if you rent this house on the market for two weeks, you can easily make the money that is enough to pay that particular rent. Obviously, there's a catch. Uh, don't be late on the payments because we control the town. We're not going to let you in. We can take away your house and I can sell it on the market for a much better price. And if you want to rent it commercially, we are your number one rental management company because our goal is not to make money just by selling this product to you. We want to manage this for you. We make money from running a city. You know this business model in software, software as a service. You probably have many applications you pay for monthly, right? Spotify, right? Or Netflix, it's software as a service. We are city as a service. So you pay us $200 per month and then we make sure that there's security and we clean your loan. The second, um, the, you pay no taxes for the first 15 years. Our product is Confutur approved. There's a law in the Dominican Republic that you don't have to pay taxes for the first 15 years if the product is good for the development of the region, which our is. And if you want to sell it, 
uh, to us, if you want to sell it back to us, we give you a guarantee of 10% of value increase on an annual basis. If you're going to find a, 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 um, a buyer that wants to pay more, go ahead. We have to approve the buyer. We have the right of veto. Uh, but for the first five years, if you feel like you don't have enough cash and so on, you can, you can buy it back to us. Because we really want to use your money to build this uh, and then still manage this uh, for the years to come. Another, uh, so these are four examples of price points. I stuck to the example of the two bedroom villa for $250,000 because this is our best seller. But the cheapest apartments, tiny studio, I mean, when you look at Manhattan, the, our studio is your penthouse because the, the sizes in New York are slightly different. Um, the, the, the cheapest penthouses started from 150, it's uh, 400 square feet. Then you have bigger villas and luxury villas. The, the most luxury villa which we sold right now uh, went for sale for $1.5 million, uh, which is like few, few levels. Uh, and that villa was designed by a special architect from, from Germany, if I remember correctly. Uh, another, um, another product which we have, when I checked no other real estate developer has it, is an asset swap option. We did this in Sweden, we did this in Poland, and now we're gonna offer this in the United States. If you have a plot of land, or a piece of gold, or a house, or a luxury car, something that doesn't decrease in value for, for too much, you can just pay partially with that particular asset, and we're gonna flip it for you. For you as a broker, we can play the video, by the way, when I speak. For you as a broker, it's interesting, because if you have a New Yorker who has a plot of land somewhere he doesn't care about, or he has too many flats, we can flip that one flat that he has and give him the villa in, uh, in the Dominican Republic. Let's play that video if we can. This is an example, this is a real guy. He, uh, he has a few McLarens, he's from Sweden. He gave us one of his old McLarens and it was his initial payment for the villa that he got in return. Obviously, it's a pain in the ass to trade this car later, but we did this for marketing reasons so we can say that this deal happens. People, uh, for you as a broker, this is interesting because if, you, if your client flips a, a plot of land or a flat for a villa, then you get commission twice, right? Because you just made a sale and you just made a purchase. Um, so I think that might be interesting for you. Our product is mainly for New Yorkers. Uh, we like, have you seen Jerry Maguire? So we, we like that girlfriend, like we complete you, New Yorkers. Living in New York is amazing, it's such a fantastic town, but it's also loud and expensive and toxic and so on. And if you want to have a second house, you probably want to have a second house in, in a slightly more calm, more nature-oriented uh, environment. And um, for many New Yorkers, from our experience, that they always wanted to have a second house somewhere in Miami or in Costa Rica or Puerto Rico. And by the time they retired or by the time they can work remotely, they've realized that they cannot afford Miami anymore. So we, we are happy to accommodate all those smaller, smaller millionaires that could not, could, cannot afford Miami anymore or, or, or Costa Rica or uh, Puerto Rico. Sorry. Can, can you give us a, a breakdown of rent roll? Because I've got to give you $100,000. When I'm going to pay 2,500 a month, yeah. if, and I have to give it exclusively to you for rental, yeah. can you give me an example about that, please? Yeah. So the maintenance is it working? Can you hear me? The maintenance is around 200 dollars per month for the villa that I told you. I stick to that example, so we can get the numbers. Then that particular villa, right now, you can rent on the market for 150 to 200 dollars per night. As for today, how it's going to change, whether it's going to go up or down in the short term, we could speculate because there's a lot of new developments in Samana being built right now, but it's more or less that, uh, that, uh, that price point. Um, and then the appreciation, the, the annual appreciation from primary market to secondary market for the next five years, we assume to be between 15 and 25% annually. Uh, when you rent it out with us, uh, there's a typical model that we brought from Europe, which is after we pay the broker fee, the booking.com, Airbnb, after we pay for the soap, 20% uh, is with us, 80% goes back to you. How many days This is the, uh, the owner's decision. Uh, how many days per month he wants to live in, how many days per month he wants to rent. The, we don't uh, guarantee the, uh, the, the, the occupancy. This is, uh, this is the residence first community. If someone comes to us and says, I want to buy four apartments and I want to rent it out on the market, our reply is, 
go to Punta Cana. Like, this is the town for residents first. You want to live here two, three months per year for different reasons. You're retired. You can afford it. You work remotely. We have three sources of internet. We have Starlink. We have fiber optic and 5G. And then you want to rent it out. We don't uh, sell it to those people who only buy it to rent. It's harder, but that's our vision. As, yes, as an investment. So the, the master plan for the whole Samana Peninsula was uh, signed by the president around 10 years ago. Okay. Our master plan for the 1,000 units town, by the way, was designed by the same architecture studio who did it for the president. We did it for the connections. Uh, was designed, uh, I think, a year ago. We're still working on some details. Uh, we broke ground for the first stage uh, last month, November. Sorry, two months ago. And the first stage, so 120 units, the shell will be ready by the end of this year, and then first people will be moving in from spring next year. And when do you expect to finish the entire work? The thousand units will be, everything will happen within the span of 10 years. Okay. Yeah. The, there are seven stages. The stages are big enough, and they are divided from each other with big parks. So the construction noise of stage two doesn't affect the quality of the life of the previous stage. Inside the community here, there's, an, there's, there's already restaurants, parks, uh, even tiny hospital, some, so some gyms. It's own, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so many questions. Do I still have the time? Yeah. Um, Maybe last question. And then, we, by the way, I'm here with uh, Victoria, the, the, the lady in the green dress, and Belen and uh, Carla. So we are going to be next to the food where everyone is. You can always talk to us. And maybe last question, and then I'm going to let... Uh, I, I just, I, I was sitting here in front of the screen, and Bo and I just noticed uh, that you can trade your watch as a down payment. You can. I like your watch. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally... No, no. I... <laughs> Um, what, the real ones. No, we don't. What, do what, what we is don't this take about? <laughs> are you t you're taking jewelry as Serious. down payment? We are taking jewelry, guys. We are from Poland, and um, for <laughs> us, <laughs> everything that is shiny and I can take it to the airport, I'll take. Yes. <laughs> no, no. The the the, 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 the real story is um, we've built this initially for. Um, Central and Eastern European investors, right? Because I'm Polish, my partners are Polish, and so on. And we, the concept of war is very familiar with us, right? Every generation, my grandfather, great-grandfather, and now it looks like we as well. We are in, engaged directly in the war, and there's a, lot of, there's a lot of investors who are now willing to trade some parts of their assets to another continent. And uh, with the... With the changes in the global financier systems, uh, some people prefer to trade uh, assets like diamonds, gold, uh, or cars even. Uh, How about of crypto? Money. Sorry? You take crypto. Oh, yes. I mean, crypto, we, crypto for us is like fiat currency. We've already done a couple of transactions when people paid with Bitcoin. Yeah. Great. That's it. Thank you so much for your interest.